hello friends, this is Jeff playing Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. As you can hear, the phone is ringing, and this is the next chapter. Hello? Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. Alright, I'll be right there. Here goes my Sunday. All right, let's see how it looks. This is from Mafia Three. Lincoln Clay's uh, army jacket. See? Clay. Cool. So open up! This is the police. This is your last warning. Open the goddamn door! Open up, police! Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Open up. I wonder if anything's going to happen. We just want to ask you some questions. If you don't open the door, we're going to open it up for you. So open up. This is the police. This is your last warning. Open the goddamn door! Open up, police! Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police! Open up! We just want to ask you some questions. Yeah, I guess nothing else is going to happen. If you they'd... don't open the door, we're going to open it up for you. I thought they would bust it open, but I guess not. I don't know. Open up. This is the police. Ah. Nope. Uh, last warning. Oh, last warning. Open up, police. Okay, this is probably just gonna repeat, repeat. Listen, we know you're in there. Yeah, they're not gonna bust in. This is the police. Open up. All right, sorry I delayed that too long, I guess. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I gotta get a decent car. Well, that ain't gonna be it. I don't know what they would, they probably want, I'm not really certain what car I should take. That's a two-seater. I wonder if Lincoln's is a four-seater. What is going on over there? Sheesh. Alright, let's go.
Is that a cop? Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me to rot in jail. That's good. Because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Javi Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. <laughs> Rise and a shine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and right here. Guess what? It's on. Hey boy, yay! Got one. Thank you, sir. Arrivederci. Same to you. Whoops, darn it. Ugh. Took the corner too too too, too hard there. Uh, wrecked Lincoln Clay's car. Looking to fill up, boss. Full time. Yeah. Sure thing, pal. Everything. Thank you. See ya. You see my car going that way, and you're still going to walk that way. Strange.
Hey, welcome. What can I do you for, pal? Are you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. License plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Pick a color, any color. Bring it by any time. That's you, you. You know, they don't observe the rules. I mean, straight away it gets the privilege. A turn, you have to stop. So, you know, they, they're breaking the rules. <laughs> Jeez. You never turn into traffic. It's traffic, like, like going straight, you have the right of way. If you're going to break it, if you're going to turn into them, that, that should not happen. But anyways. They didn't, they need to change that in the game, but they'll never do it, but, you know, oh well. Oh, no, of course not, I'm not even looking to see where I'm supposed to be going, okay. Just go ahead and do my, redo my car, and he goes, he breaks into my car, dang Ugh. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Oh. You shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. I probably should have tuned up my car a little bit. Okay, now that's my fault. It's my fault again, I crossed the line. <laughs> I'm not totally used to driving a uh, leaking Clay's car. Where are you going, Luca? 
other side. See what this way could. I gotta catch up to him. Ruski's junkyard, maybe. Nah, Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this. Slaughterhouse, of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. That's the way in. Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Just stop by to pick up some steaks. I'm gonna kill somebody. Okay, number one, big boy. Nice. Jesus, would you shut up? What, somebody there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, I got caught. Tell him, you idiots! Dang it. Okay, I gotta do this over. Darn it. Ugh. How much do I have to do over? Good question. Oh, no. I have to do the whole thing over? Not good. All the way from here? Aye. Oh well. Okay, you've just seen me fail. <laughs> okay. Alright, so yeah, it, it's been a long time since I played this particular episode. I haven't played this one twice. Alright. Well then, we're just gonna get going then. We're not gonna fool around. have three quarters of a tank of gas so 
I won't have to do the gas station. But yeah, okay, so like I said, uh, you know, I, th that's the only problem um, is that I play under hard, so. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. Yeah, so I was just going to say, I'm sorry that I have to do this over, um, but like I said, I, I always like playing hard. I just didn't know that I'd have to start way back there. Come on, Luca, we can go 70, let's go. Ruski's junkyard, maybe. Man, Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this. slaughterhouse of course looks like Eddie was right okay I gotta get in there without being seen all right so I gotta remember how to do this let's see so I can't hide right there I have to sewer maybe that's the way in there's nothing over here right I don't think so Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Shit, that dog could be a problem. Yeah, no kidding, so it's just Shit, there they are. 
Now I got you, you skinny little prick. This is that one. Nice. I, I guess he's out. I don't have to do anything to him. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one just walked around. So, uh, you still thinking about quitting? Yeah, probably next month. What are you gonna do then? I was thinking of maybe, you know, becoming a voice actor. And it's still see me.
Oh, there's a guard right there. So if the workers see you or the guards, will that expose you? You know what I mean? I know the guards will, but... Like, I don't know if I could sneak up to him and knock him out, but then would, what would the workers do? Would they give me away? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, see, he can see me. Shift's over. You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. Oh yeah, right over here. There it is. I was wondering where it was. Okay. Yeah, I knew there, I knew there was one in here somewhere. I think there's one more left to find. I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on. How'd you get into the mistakes? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on. Take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's, it's just a question of whether I'm gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Drop. over there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shitbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? 
Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> will you get me down, please? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas. Sucker's gonna piss his pants. What's going on? They send you? Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? A lot of guys with a lot of guns are already on their way over here. They can't wait to get back at them. Nice job. 
Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on. Let me in. I gotta stop for a moment, I got a phone call. Hold on. Shit. I ain't gonna be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Join me? Thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. Uh, blood, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you. But you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah. Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. Good cam back. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You... You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you wanna give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. All right, go see Eddie at the Falcon. And now we're all locked out of here, okay. Well, I could take his car. Huh? Okay, that's all the ammo I could get.
Oh yeah, look at that. We're all like dirty. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe you think they'll say something? Let's find out. <laughs> and he's going, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Jesus Christ. Was that you? Vito? Oh, Jesus. Why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh... Interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so of Luca's whoa. bodyguards we ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. Oh, that's hilarious. Excuse me, Mr. Scarlett, sir. Uh, maybe you should go home. You don't look so well. Also, you smell. Oh, really? You won't serve me? <laughs> yeah, I thought there would be a magazine in not sure though. I want to just take a quick peek. Maybe when I return or something. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. It's not over here, right? No. Or I can't remember if I came in here and got that before, so. I don't know. Well, good afternoon. I thought they would oh. certainly. Mr. Scaletta, what happened to your clothes? Huh? Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, that is hilarious. Okay, there's supposed to be a store around here. What did I miss? Let's see.
pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. Oh, you'd push right in front of me, wouldn't you? You'd change lane just at that moment, man. Just wanted to see how fast this car would go. <laughs> just just moved into the lane just at the split second that I was getting there. Oh, I thought he was, thought he'd go over the rail. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta, I gotta get to the end of this episode. But anyways, just thought I'd. Uh, I was looking for a clothing store, and I just didn't find one. Like you know, so I just started driving. Like. Got to be a clothing store somewhere. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, well I can find any, every other shops, but no clothing stores, fish. Yeah, plenty of places to fix the car, but no uh, clothing stores. Well, like I said, this, uh, I'm just dragging this on, but silliness. Alright, let's just go to a, whatever the objective is, I don't even know. Let's go. If I come across a clothing store, then I'll go get some clothes, but other than that... Hey! There's one right here. Nice. Alright, pal. Let's make it quick. You stink! 
<laughs> oh, that is so f <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh yeah. That coat looks great on you, sir. Oh, that is hilarious. All right. Come back. Oh, you know what I like doing when I see these big tankers. Now, of course, I don't know if there's any cop. Oh, he's getting away. Okay, I gotta take that off. Well, uh, anyways, sorry for goofing around like that. It was just kind of... I kind of like taking the Magnum and hitting one of those big gas tanks, man. It's really cool. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. And now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this? But you worked for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when you got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, no. This family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Be 
Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's You might wonder why I take this risk again after spending almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, Stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. Well, I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Oh, that was a lot, but I didn't know, okay, that, um, because I was messing around, driving around, I didn't realize we had a lot to do. Okay, well, I'm not going to answer the phone, um, we're just going to stop right here, because, yeah, um, anyways, I hope you don't mind, more. sometimes I screw around in the game and stuff, so, anyways, it's a fun game, that's why, you know, I do stuff like that. But anyways, it did save, so we're going to end it right here. So thanks for watching, if you are. And this is Jeff, uh, wishing everybody the best in the world. Good day, good afternoon, good night. God bless See you and your own religion. Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos. Yep, and every time I want to sign out, they always say that kind of stuff. I mean, it's kind of weird. <laughs> anyways, this is again, this is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.